Hey guys and welcome back to another Team of the Season player review and this one's the special one. Team of the Season 86 rated Golongs, he was the unlockable item in the Liga Un Cup and someone actually mentioned on my video earlier today that the comparison between his hands and head size is massive. Look how big his arms are, it looks a joke. But yeah guys, we're going to get into it today. If you are needing Ultimate Team Coins, head over to FIFAUltimateTeamCoins.com, links below in the description, use the code FUJI, get yourself a discount or if you are wishing to purchase games or game codes, head over to G2A and also use the code FUJI. So I actually played a load of games with Gonalongs. Initially, I had him in my 4-3-2-1 side. I switched out to a 4-3-1-2, 4-1-2-1-2, -1 just formations that I use on the game and are comfortable with, and I just wanted to test him out a little bit more. So with his actual card stats, 72 pace, 68 shot, 80 passing, 75 dribbling, 87 defense, and 86 physical. So in total, I did play 16 games. I scored two goals and got two assists. Match rating-wise, as we expected, he is a CDM. Unless he's going to get a goal, which will substantially boost up his rating, he he isn't and he didn't well he scored two goals which weren't too bad but in-game stat wise like great reactions good aggression interception stand tackle long passing which i'm going to get into in just a second but overall for an 86 rated card i was expecting a little bit more from him medium to high work rates two star skills four star week for let's get into the clips so as we know team of the season gone longs was a card that you could only get if you won yourself the league and cup i thought it was a grind but it definitely wasn't as hard as the bundesliga one i kind of struggled in that like the the rebounds were real but with team of the season gone along the noticeable difference straight away with the card which was his genuine pace off the ball like him dropping back and getting into positions I was really impressed with but touching on positions like his positioning automatically wasn't really like an 86 rated standard I was feeling that most of the time when I was tackling with him I was manually positioning himself to cut passing lanes so I was just expecting a little bit more like just automatic defending from gone alongs but that wasn't the case but when it came to tackling I was really impressed with that his slight tackles are decent as well strength on the ball not so much and it's just a little bit odd because he's six foot two and he doesn't really pose that much of a, like a, a strength about his play so it's a little annoying like when you think about as tall player you automatically assume that he's going to be strong with gone along it's a little bit 50 50 at times but his aggression actually helps that out a little bit but going on to a few more positive uh, a few more negatives i should say firstly agility he's not the best to dribble with although like with that it's a little bit inconsistent at times you can maneuver him quite well and then others you'll just get you'll be basically be stuck in the mud and then a, an opponent's midfielder will take it off you and it's going to cause you problems so please be aware to try and dis, uh, distribute the actual ball as quickly as you can and finishing wise do not take any type of shot with the card like, I know I was inside the box and managed to finish it off but the goal came from him taking such a poor touch it's set up for a sliding finish exactly that's how bad it is but long shot wise do not just don't, don't bother it's just going to go wide it's just a waste, a waste of time to be honest but moving on to a couple of the positive Positives. Tackling, fantastic. Long passing, I honestly thought his long passing was a lot better when I actually went to check out his in-game stats. He was pinging balls to my wingers and it was just working very, very well. I think that's one of his best assets to his game, tackling and also long passes. But other than that, like he's, he's a solid player, but I wouldn't really, like if you don't, don't want to grind out the cup i don't think he's going to be like a player that is is going to really affect you if you don't get him but gone along as i thought he was okay i was just expecting a little bit more from an 86 rated striker uh 86 rated cdm i should say so thanks ever so much for watching guys i'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 and overall enjoyment at 3 out of 5 because yeah he, he wasn't really the best on the ball he was just he just had a really good pass so thanks ever so much for watching guys and i'll see you on my next video team out Peace.